I was in the third grade when they took us to see Richard III in Boston. I'd, I'd never been to a live play before, and I didn't understand what was going on, but I could tell there was a whole bunch of people just hating each other and going to war against each other and just playing, killing each other. Kind of like the murders and wars I'd seen on the news. By the third hour, I was really spacing out, desperately bored and upset with it all, just wanting to go back to class, um, draw a picture, take a spelling test. <laughs> Finally, it ended, and they closed the curtain. <clears throat> but then, right then, they did something I wasn't ready for. They opened the curtain, and there was everyone who'd been running around, hating each other and killing each other for the past three and a half hours. And they were all up there, you know, holding hands and smiling at each other, patting each other on the back. They were smiling at us and taking a nice bow. And that's when it really hit me. It hit me hard. They all looked so beautiful, so peaceful and loving. Richard III was standing right next to the woman he'd murdered and she was holding his hand and smiling at him as if they were about to go get something to eat together. Right off after they washed off their makeup and changed their clothes. And I had that image in my head all the way back to the bus. And I lie awake in my bed practically all night, thinking, that's what the world needs. <laughs> we need the UN to pass a resolution that on a certain Sunday, everyone in the world, um, the President of the United States, the Dalai Lama, Kim Jong-un, uh, the murderers, the millionaires, the, the bank robbers, the construction workers, will all line up, hold hands, and take a bow. <laughs> Oh, dead people too. Yeah, I decided that dead people should suddenly rise off the floor, go to the guy that killed them and say, good show. Huh? Good show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we were only kidding. It was all a story. We really all love each other. And now we're going to get off our costumes and have a party. <laughs> oh, and you can come too, you know? Cookies and cake and wine all on us. <laughs> And that's why I wanted to act. So I could do that. Whether I was Snow White or the stepmother, Cordelia or Lady Macbeth, I wanted people to see me get off the floor, take my place in line, smiling and holding hands, so that I could give everyone a taste of what it would be like if the whole world could take a curtain call. <laughs>